Hey, it's Annie. Today I'm going to do something really different and if you've been following me a while, you're going to say, girl, you're crazy. I know, I know. Um, but I recently shared on the video, actually asked you all, um, I said, would you be okay with me doing a review on a luxury item? And everybody that responded said yes. Okay, so this isn't a braggy video. This is a video on a review of a bag that I purchased, okay? Okay, this is the bag here. It's the Gucci Marmont Matlassie. I hope I'm saying that right. Bag, all right? Before I get into the bag review, I want to talk about why I decided to purchase a bag, why I decided to purchase such an expensive bag, and you came here just to get a review, then all you need to do is click on the show more, and I will have a timestamp there that says, you know, watch review or review starts here or something like that. Just click on that and you get right to the review. Okay? All right. I want to make everybody happy here, okay? Um, like I said, I am not a, I didn't want to share this to say, look at the bag I have. Um, I just find that these videos are very helpful and the videos that I was watching myself on this bag was very helpful to me in deciding what I wanted to do. So let's go back in time a little bit. Okay. Let's go back in time. Um, when I was in high school, the first bag that I ever had was a Gucci bag. That was the first most expensive bag I ever had. And I don't remember if I was like a junior or senior in high school. I don't remember. I had a credit card. I was in high school, I had a job. I bought my bag at Marshall Fields. And if you are familiar with Chicago, then you know about Marshall Fields. Okay, it's not around anymore. We miss it here. Um, but that is where I bought my bag. It was a it was called a care, I think, well, I don't know what it was called, okay? I don't know what the style was called, but it looked like the camera style bags that they have now. They were like shaped, it was shaped like this. It's kind of rounded in the corners. It had a navy blue leather, um, it was wrapped around with like a le le navy blue leather. Girl, get it together with navy, with a navy blue leather wrap, okay? The purse. And it was a monogram bag, so it had the Gigi all over it. It had, you know, a, a navy blue strap on it. I think it was adjustable and it had an outside pocket on it. I loved that bag, loved it, wore it to death. The strap got so, um, like it was just like, like that because I wore it all the time and I just loved it. And then I don't remember how many years after that I bought a Louis Vuitton bag and it was a Speedy 25, I believe. And um, it had an adjustable strap on it. And I loved that bag as well. And then maybe a couple years after that or something, um, my parents bought me a Louis Vuitton shoulder bag. I have none of those bags, sadly, because we moved several times and I don't know what happened to them. We are missing things that we we moved with. So I, I don't know what happened to those bags. Would have been nice to have had them to use or even to pass down to my daughter, but sadly I don't, I don't have those bags. Um, but, I, so I was into some designer things at one time in my life. Then I got married. 10 years after that, I had a baby. And once I had my daughter, I wasn't into designer stuff. I just wasn't. Everything that, and I was a stay at home mom, so I wasn't working. So I was, everything was for my daughter, daughter, daughter. Then when she got a little bit older, still doing things for my daughter, but then I started to do things for my house. Um, but not expensive, you know, I still was you know, getting things at, you know, garage sales or thrift shops or antique stores because I like that vintage style. So I didn't spend a lot of money even on my house, you know, it was still like focus was my daughter, okay? My daughter's gonna be senior in high school. We're gonna be moving out of this house before the end of, well, not before the end of this year, I wish in my dreams. Um, but we'll be listing our house in the next coming months, okay? So I've been getting rid of things in my house, and so my focus hasn't been on my house right now. It's been on getting back on me. So over the past few years, I started really getting back into me, okay? 
Um, I make sure I take the time to take care of my skin. I take the time to put makeup on. I take the time to fix my hair. And I want to look nice even when I'm going to the grocery store. I'm not going to say, I don't get all dressed up. You know how I am. If you watch my, if you watch my last haul, you know, I'm a blue jean girl, blue jean t-shirt girl. This is from Target. Okay. I love it. It's adorable. It's from Target, $16. Okay. Like I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. Some things, there's some things I spend a little bit more money on. My Barefoot Dreams sweaters, I love those. I love those. If I wasn't on video right now, I'd probably have that on top because I'm cold, but you're going to get sick of seeing me on a sweater all the time. But I'm telling you, I wear those all of the time. I love them. Okay. You might see them in some of my videos. Okay. Um, but other than that, I don't spend a lot of money on myself. I don't. I don't buy a bunch of jewelry. The only jewelry I get is from my friend. I got some bobble bar, but that's not expensive. But I'm just saying, I just don't spend a lot of money on myself. So getting a bag for me was like on the bottom of the list, okay? And I really lost touch with how much they were. So a year ago I did a video and I said, I am never gonna get spend that much money on a bag. I mean, are you serious? Do you know how much I can get? How many things I can get if I spend money on that bag? I know I said that. I did, and I meant it. Because I was not gonna spend this much on a bag. But I kept seeing uh, on my Instagram feed, I kept seeing people with these, you know, these beautiful women with these beautiful chain bags. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that bag. I love it. And it was either Chanel or it was a Gucci bag that I saw. Um, then the Nordstrom sale came along and Rebecca Minkoff had some bags that were on sale and I bought them all. I didn't buy them like to keep for sure, just order them and I wanted to see which one I liked the best. First one I got was the gold one. I did not like it. I just felt, in my opinion, I felt like for the money it was very cheaply made. The chain was really cheap on it. I just didn't like it at all. But I did like the style of it. The other one that I purchased, two other ones, were velvet bags. And one was just like the gold bag, except it was red velvet. Very, very pretty, but didn't go with my wardrobe. The other one that I saw, the other one that I had purchased was a lighter velvet bag. And I liked the, the style of it, I liked the shape of it, and it was gonna fit everything that I needed, so I thought, that is it. I wore it a couple times, and I was a nervous wreck wearing it because I was worried about everything that was gonna get on it, and I wore jeans all the time, and so I didn't want that to transfer on the bag, and I was just like, you know what? I can't do this. So I returned the bag. I bought it at Nordstrom, and that's one of the things that I love about Nordstrom. They will take back things. I mean, you can return things, okay? No, a no hassle. I personally have not had to ha deal with any kind of hassle when I've returned things, okay? Um, so I was happy that they did that. So now I'm back to square one. I did notice that Rebecca Minkoff had some other chain bags that were leather. Um, and I thought about getting them, but then I was reading reviews and some people said they didn't think it was made really well and that the chain was, the paint on it was chipping. And I was like, I am not going to pay, you know, $300 for a bag if it's going to chip. You know what I mean? And I just thought, no, I don't I don't want a bag, bag like that. I really want a nice bag. For $300, it should be a nice bag. It should not be chipping. I kept looking into it, looking into it, and I just decided that Chanel is just out of my price range. It is just way, way, way out of my price range right now. I can't, right now, I cannot afford it. And there are a couple bags I was interested in, but the more I started researching, I just decided that's not, that's not the bag for me. That's not really what I want. So that was off the table. Um, Louis Vuitton was a purse I liked in the past, but there's no, no no chain bags like this that I wanted. And I just, there's nothing in that line that appeals to me at all, like nothing. Right now, I'm never gonna say never, but right now there's nothing in there that I really like. So after researching and researching and watching videos, that's why I decided to get this bag, okay? Um, again, this is the Gucci Marmont Matlassi bag, and this is in the small. They have a mini and they have a large. So this is where we're going to start. We're going to start the review right now, okay? And now, before I show before I show you how to open it and show the inside, I just want to share 
where I bought this, okay? So I purchased mine from Nordstrom. The reason there's a benefit to it and, and a disadvantage for that, and I'll explain both, okay? So I purchased it from Nordstrom. Last week they had their triple points if you have a rewards card, which I do. They did not have this bag online. This is this bag is the um, this bag is a small bag. Let me get this out of the way. This is the small bag. They have a mini and they have a medium. This is the small. They didn't have this online. This retails for eighteen ninety or something like that. It's a little over eighteen hundred dollars. Okay. They didn't have that on their website, but I thought you know I'm going to call the Chicago store to see if they have it there. They didn't have it, but the associate called many stores. She tracked two down in the Mall of America. So this is where this came from. This came from the Mall of America, okay? So she sent it to me. I asked her if she could please make sure that it's put in a Gucci box. This is the disadvantage. It did not come in a Gucci box. It, I do have the bag. I do have the dust bag, but it did not come in a Gucci box. It came in a Nordstrom gift box. So they wrapped it off beautifully for me, but I don't have the Gucci box to store it in. Gucci does not send Nordstrom the boxes. I talked to so many people and that's what they told me. They said that vendor does not send the boxes. Now, I don't know if that's like that in every store and you can only get it at Gucci, like a Gucci store or Gucci online, you get the box. But at Nordstrom, I didn't get the box. I tried, I did not get the box. So that's the only disadvantage. So I don't have a nice Gucci box to go with it, but I earned triple points from purchasing this there. That was worth it to me. So that's why I did it, okay? So let me talk about this bag here, all right? So to open it, there's a little clasp under here and you just, that's all you have to do. And it opens up, okay? So it's leather inside there. And then again, to close it, you just, you hardly have to push it. Now somebody did a review and she said you really have to push it. So I don't know if there was something wrong with hers. Even when it's empty, I don't have to like push it, you know? It is a soft leather, it is soft. Um, that's one thing some, some people had said. And another thing somebody mentioned is that if you just throw your lipstick in there or whatever in there, um, you have to be careful because of this opening. So if you have it on your your passenger side when you're driving and you're driving around, I know my bags, bags can slide around too, um, stuff can fall out of it. I don't have the problem pretty much because everything that I have except for my glasses um, are in something inside my bag. And that is something that I want to get, by the way, before I show you. I don't have any really pretty uh, accessories inside here. That's going to be my next purchase. I have some things that I'm going to get and then I'll review those when I get them. But I, I just feel like if I'm going to have this nice of a bag, I should have nicer accessories inside. So that's going to be next. All right. So I'm going to show you inside first of my bag. So this is what it looks like all filled up. And when I close it, by the way, it doesn't look like it's overstuffed or anything. See, and everything fits in there nicely. All right, so this is what I have in my bag. I have my sunglasses and I always keep my sunglasses in this. These are Gucci sunglasses. I didn't share them before. I got these at the Nordstrom sale. They were expensive, but they were much less expensive at, at um, the sale. So I'll show you what they look like since I even showed you them. They're polarized and I love them. I love them. You can see the reflection of the light on there, but yes, I love these glasses. So I keep them in my little bag, spend a lot of money on something. I take good care of it. So I have those in there. Then I have my reading glasses. I can't go anywhere without those. I have my little, this is for my credit cards and change that I keep with me. I usually never carry cash. Um, very rarely just have coins. The coins in there and my credit cards. Okay, that's from Vera Bradley. I got that over the summer. I have my key, which I want to get a key thing for. So that's one of the accessories I want to get. I have my phone. And that's an Android Samsung phone. I don't even know what number it is. Um, and then I have my, my little makeup bag that I want to get something a little bit smaller 
that should still fit everything in it. So I'll show you what I have in here. So inside here, I have my Blotterazzi. I have my Becca powder. I have a magnified mirror. Marc Jacobs um, lip gloss and moon glow. My perfume. My Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. My Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW, one of my favorites. Um, and then I have this. <laughs> I just got this. I will put the link below for this. It's from a company company called Tint, T-I-N-T-E. It's if you grew up in the 70s, I remember kissing sticks or Chris, kiss. I think that's what they call kissing sticks or, or I think kissing. What was it called? Kissing potion. It was called kissing potion. This is like kissing potion. This is called rollerball, but it's it's kissing potion. OK, remember those that were like a gloss that this one smells like cherry. Oh my God, I love it. You gotta check it out, I will put the link below. And then I have like a nail file and just like allergy medicine and stuff like that in there, okay? That's it. So now my bag is empty. So inside it's like a suede kind of material. And I don't know, it's kind of like a peachy tannish color. I don't know. And it's got this little zip if you wanted to put something there, but I really don't have to use that. I mean, I everything is organized, so I really don't need to use that. So before we put everything back, I want to show you. So remember I said that, you know, you have to, I don't think you have to push it that hard, but see, it just goes like this, like that. Like I'm not really pushing it. I'm going to show you again. Can you see that? So like that, I'm not pushing that hard. So I don't know, I really, really like this. This is the first flap bag that I've ever, yeah, this is the first flap bag that I've ever had. I usually have, un, you know, zipper bags, um, but I love, I can't tell you how much I love this bag. It is so comfortable to wear. I like the fact that I can wear this bag um, with my ripped jeans. I can wear this bag if I get all dressed up. I love it and it's not stuffed. Like I said, it is a little bit softer, it's squishy of a, of a bag. So some people said that this can get a little bit stretched out if you're not careful with it. Um, trying to think, did I say everything else? I think so. So let me show you what it looks like on me. So just so you know how tall I am, I'm 5'6 and I weigh 122 pounds. I'm just telling you that. So, you know, for you, if you're trying to size up to yourself and what how tall I am to yourself, you know what I mean? So, this is pretty much how I like to wear this bag. It's very comfortable, it stays on my shoulder, it's not heavy, I love it. Now in the winter time, I am not gonna be able to wear it like this because of my coat. I just know it, I've had bags like this before where, you know, where it's kind of short like this and it, it'll just keep falling. So, in the winter time, I could either wear it like this, okay, on my shoulder and it should stay, or I could also crossbody it. Now, something else that somebody had mentioned, um, uh, I was watching one of the videos and she said she's five foot and it fit perfectly on her hip. And she said, if you're taller, it probably wouldn't work. Well, I don't know, I'm five six and I find this to be perfect height for me. I love it. I think it's perfect. So I can't tell you how comfortable this is. It is not a heavy bag. Even with everything in here, I feel like I'm not wearing any, like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you can get a little bag and it's just really heavy, like this is not heavy, it's so comfortable. And I could also, if I wanted to, you know, I could wear it like that if I wanted to, if I wanted to walk around like that somewhere, if I wanted to do that. So I love it. So why did I choose the color black? Because for me, it fits my lifestyle much more. I don't have to worry, like I don't want to get a light color because I just thought it's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to be worried that I'm going to get transfer from my jeans on it and I don't want to deal with that. And I just feel like black is a nice classic color. Black goes with everything and black can be dressy, black can be casual. I just think it's the perfect color in my opinion. I just love it. Um, there's, they have some other colors that are beautiful, but this just goes with everything. I hope that I answered everything. I tried to think of everything I can think of. Um, 
to help you if you are searching, if you've been searching and thinking about this bag, I would highly recommend it. No, it's really expensive. Believe me, I was sticker shocked because I hadn't purchased designer bags in years and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, but I love, love, love this bag so much. I really, really do. So that is it. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that this was helpful to you and informative. If there's anything that I did not address, um, if you have any questions that maybe, like I said, I didn't address, please let me know in the comments. I would love to, you know, any, any, I'm not an expert, um, but like I said, I want to be as informative as possible because as I said, the videos that I w was watching were so helpful to me because this is a big purchase. Um, I didn't just go like just like look at it and just decide to go buy it. Like I don't have that kind of income, okay? Uh, I did a lot of research on it and research and research and research and really thought about what I really, 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 really wanted and if this was was going to work for me and my lifestyle, and it totally does. So I'm very happy with my purchase. I could not recommend it more. Um, and yeah, please let me know if there's anything else I can, any questions I can answer for you. Also, please make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs up, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I love interacting with you, and I love interacting with you as well in the comments, so leave me a comment and just let me know what you think about this video. So that is it. Thank you, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I always enjoy our time together. I appreciate it, and I will see you soon. Bye.